father-in-law Kaido's monster cells create the strongest beasts. 191. The strongest man, Whitebeard, ends. The death knell of celestial dragons is sounded. Add, Whitebeard was full of boundless rage and murderous intent, and wanted to execute Blackbeard before he died to avenge Thatch. But in the face of the angry blow from the strongest man in the world, Blackbeard was not afraid at all. Instead he laughed wildly. Thief ha 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 ha. Dad, you still don't know the devil fruit ability that I took from killing Sachi? Alright, let me show you the power of the most powerful dark fruit today. Blackbeard's body suddenly gushed out wisps of black smoke. The ground under his feet was also covered by a layer of black water. Dark fruit is extremely mysterious and can create a dark hole similar to a black hole swallowing everything in it, and the most terrifying thing is that it can nullify the enemy's devil fruit ability. I saw Blackbeard's right palm, swirling black mist, facing Whitebeard's shockwave covered fist, black water, buzzing. Whitebeard's shockwave that could shatter the atmosphere was absorbed by the black mist and disappeared. 293 Whitebeard's pupils shrank in shock. Blackbeard was getting more and more arrogant. See, Dad, this is what I have now. Your shock fruit, in front of Lao Tzu's dark fruit is meaningless. Thief ha ha ha. Blackbeard laughed wildly. So fun, this feeling. The suffocation he suffered from Liu Oxing before was released at once. Blackbeard couldn't help but get carried away. When Whitebeard punched him again, Blackbeard absorbed the shockwave and successfully hit Whitebeard's jaw. Blackbeard even danced arrogantly. Thief ha ha ha. Dad, you look so pitiful and sad. I used to admire you so much, but you are old and your time is over. The future is the age of my Blackbeard. 35. Add. In the moment of Blackbeard's arrogance, Whitebeard quietly threw Kong Yankee into the sky, and then pushed the shockwave to hit Blackbeard again. Blackbeard easily absorbed it and became more and more rampant. At this time, Kong Yunch fell. Whitebeard reached out to take it, and turned around a few times, under Blackbeard's stunned eyes. He slashed the opponent's chest with a knife. Ah, it hurts, it hurts. Blackbeard rolled on the ground screaming in pain. Ego, rashness is your weakness, teach. Whitebeard stepped forward stepped on Blackbeard's hands, and grabbed Blackbeard's neck with his broad right hand. The shockwave covered it again. Blackbeard's eyes revealed infinite fear, desperately begging for mercy. Don't. Don't kill me, Dad, I'm your son. People like Blackbeard are typical careerists who will do anything to achieve their goals, as long as it is in his own interest. He can do anything, such as forbearance, siege, sneak attack, frame up, assassination, and begging for mercy. Such people, many people are not ashamed, disgusted but it has to be said that such a person can get more benefits, and maybe even the final winner. Too bad Blackbeard's conceited weakness is too big. He gets carried away too easily. If it wasn't for the fact that Whitebeard had too little power left at this time, Blackbeard might have really died here. Boom. With a burst of earth shaking, Whitebeard's power was completely drained. Blackbeard was bleeding, but he didn't die. Angered Blackbeard, let his subordinates go up and slash Whitebeard. Go to hell, you immortal. Whitebeard, who has endured countless artillery fire and slashes, still stands in place. Add, when Blackbeard and the others were out of breath, Whitebeard still had the strength to speak. Blackbeard was completely frightened, took a few steps back, and stammered, you dot 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 you are such a monster. Whitebeard stopped looking at Blackbeard. He had no power to kill him. Whitebeard glanced at Sengoku out of the corner of his eye. Sengoku, you marines and the world government, have been afraid of the great war destined to spread to the whole world. Sengoku shook his body and shouted, Whitebeard, you're going to die. What else do you want to say? Goo la la la, 35. Whitebeard grinned. The D family is the natural enemy of God. Roger once told me the secret of the D family. However, it seems that your enemies are not only the D family, but also Kaido's son in law Liu Oxing. The unexpected man. The Morgan's newspaper had already reached Marinford. Whitebeard also knew about Liu Oxing's plan. He could see that Liu Oxing's fundamental purpose in destroying Impel Down and occupying Sebadi land was to launch an all out war to overthrow the world government. That man's actions are faster and more ruthless than the D family. It's something Roger never did. Coupled with Liu Oxing's previous heaven-defying inventions, Whitebeard couldn't help but marvel. What a terrible future. Sengoku clenched his fists. How could he not know the seriousness of the current situation? Even after winning the war with the Whitebeard pirates, their marines are still under great threat. The destruction of Impel Down and the loss of Sebadi Land have lowered the prestige of Marine and the government to the lowest point in 800 years. Sengoku has anticipated that, immediately after the war at hand. The five elders will give him an order to take back the land of Sebadi at all costs. Then I don't know what kind of shocking war will break out. Even Sengoku, who has experienced countless winds and waves, can't help but feel very tired. Sebadi's war, he really has no grasp at all. Add, after all, the apparent strength of Liu Oxing's subordinates was already extremely terrifying. An army of wicked criminals, plus an army of undead zombies. Advanced combat powers include Zora, Enl, Sha, Aru, Jinbai, King of Evil, Crescent Hunter, Big Wine Barrel, Huge battleship, and Oz. 
the strongest zombie demon that Marine still doesn't know about. If these battle strengths are not enough, Liu Oxing can also use any door to shake Kaido, Aunt, Three Disasters, Flu Bao and so on. How is this fight going? In any case, Sengoku was helpless. He only felt a splitting headache and a haggard heart. Whitebeard gloated about it. Although Whitebeard and Kaido have a lot of hatred, inexplicably, he admires Liu Crossing. Perhaps this is the sympathy between heroes and heroes. Roger, perhaps you wouldn't have thought that in the future era, there will be a young man who is not of the D family, but is destined to influence the world. You la la la, in which direction the world will develop in the future. The old man is really curious. Whitebeard thought to himself. Then he took a deep breath and left his last words in the world. One Piece is real. Whitebeard Edward Newgate, the strongest man of the generation, who is about 5.4 degrees on the same level as One Piece Roger, but who has no ambition and only cares about his family, has come to an end. The countless scars on his chest and his back without any scars are the greatest glory of this legendary great pirate in this life. Say by the archipelago. Hexia Jinbai burst into tears. Even Liu Xing fell silent. Liu Xing respects real heroes, such as the original Black Arm Zephyr and the current Whitebeard. Whitebeard's life is indeed without any stains. This is a man who always implements his beliefs, possessing the most terrifying power in the world, but always with the tenderness of the family who loves the most. There is a tiger in the heart, and the rose is sniffed. This is perhaps the best interpretation of Whitebeard. Liu Xing watched Whitebeard leave and murmured, An era is over, and a new era will be built on the ruins of the old celestial dragons, five elders, Im, do you hear, your death knell has sounded. 192. The Queen's great perfume femur, Blackbeard sweats profusely, add, Whitebeard is finally dead. The dead body still stands unyielding. Blackbeard was frightened, and after waiting for a while, he was relieved when he found that Whitebeard was no longer moving or breathing. Thief ha ha ha, you monster, finally died. I was so frightened that I almost thought I was going to be killed by you. Blackbeard opened his toothless mouth and walked towards Whitebeard's body. Marine Marshal Sengoku in the rear shouted, Blackbeard, what do you want to do? Blackbeard laughed wildly and said, What? Of course, I'm going to put on the most gorgeous show for you. Lafayette, a member of the black group, pulled out a black cloth. Just put the black cloth on Whitebeard and Blackbeard and Blackbeard can take Whitebeard's shock fruit ability. At this point, except for Moria, who was ordered by Liu Oxing, no one knew about it. Sengoku vaguely felt that something was wrong, and his intuition couldn't let Blackbeard succeed like that. But he was too far away from Blackbeard, and it was too late to stop him. Besides, he also had to watch over Garp who lost his mind because of Ace's death and said he was going to kill Seikazuki. However, Ake Ainu 18, who was driven into the ground by Whitebeard before, did not die. He melted the magma out of a passage and was climbing up. Blackbeard walked to Whitebeard step by step. His excited body trembling slightly. Dark fruit that turns everything into nothingness. Shock fruit that destroys the world. As long as he possesses these two abilities at the same time, Blackbeard is the strongest in the world, and no one can stop him. Blackbeard was so excited that he was about to stand side by side with Whitebeard and let Lafayette cover with a black cloth. But suddenly I found that my body could not move. What's going on here? Ad. Blackbeard looked bewildered. I tried to lift my leg, but I couldn't lift it. Just kidding. Why can't I move my body? Blackbeard's mentality is broken. The wish that has been planned for many years is about to be realized, but an accident occurs at the last moment. Blackbeard couldn't help but yelled, which bastard did it? Let me go. He 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 he. 99. A mocking voice entered Blackbeard's ears. Little Hiwa, is there something wrong with your brain? Lord Liu Oxing asked me to watch over you. Do you think Lao Tzu will let you succeed? 5. The one who bound Blackbeard was not Moria, who had been following Blackbeard, but who was it? Blackbeard yelled angrily, Badgers, Vanukar. Didn't I tell you to guard against Gecko Moria? Badgers and Vanukar expressed their innocence and embarrassment. Badgers rode, Captain, we've been staring at Moria, never looking away, never letting him approach you at all. Then why can't I move? We are also wondering. Blackbeard was furious and shouted, Since you don't know, then quickly kill Gecko Moria for Lao Tzu. Yes. Captain Badgers and Vanokar immediately rushed towards Moria. Moria's face changed slightly. His shadow binding technique cannot be disturbed. Forget it, take a few laps with Blackbeard. Moria immediately smeared oil on the soles of her feet and ran away. Blackbeard, who was connected to his shadow, was also driven to run. Seeing that he was getting further and further away from Whitebeard's body, Blackbeard collapsed and roared. Why does Lao Tzu's body move on its own? Moria, what the hell did you do to Lao Tzu? Add. Moria grinned sharply. When you get hit with my shadow bondage, your body is completely controlled by me, do you understand, little black baby? The originally chilling and terrifying battlefield suddenly became a little funny. Gecko Moria of Shikai Bukai, walking around like a dog with an ambitious black beard. The members of the black group, Badgers and others, hurriedly chased after him. The resourceful General Sengoku looked a little dumbfounded. Shadow binding technique, 
Is this the ability to bind this old man before? Moria used this move against Sengoku before, and also controlled two executioners to unleash the Fire Fist Ace, leading to the climax of the war. Sengoku has never understood why Moria's strength increased so much, and why did he release Fire Fist Ace? At first, he suspected that Moria had secretly joined the Whitebeard Pirates. From what Moria said just now, he knew that Moria turned out to be the subordinate of the Five Emperor Liu Oxing. It's that nasty man again. How come there are chess pieces laid by him everywhere? Sengoku couldn't help but sigh that he was getting old. Even being played around by a young junior, he didn't see the other party's means at all. Let go of our captain. After Moria took Blackbeard for a few laps, Badgers and the others couldn't take it any longer. Especially the grumpy Badgers burst out with all his strength, instantly jumping on top of Moria's head, and smashing his right fist fiercely. Moria was taken aback by Badger's outburst and when she was about to make a move, her beautiful figure suddenly flashed past his eyes. To dare to stand in front of my concubine is unforgivable, perfume Fema. The long legs like round jade pillars kicked Badger's right arm. Badger's screamed and was kicked out. What is even more terrifying is that his right arm that was kicked turned into stone and shattered. The sudden action of the Empress was unexpected but reasonable, because the character of the world's number one beauty is extremely self-righteous. She can do whatever she wants, and no one can guess her thoughts at all. Blackbeard just jumped and cursed. Add, pirate empress, you stinky bitch, I didn't mess with you, why are you struggling with me? The female emperor's beautiful eyes suddenly flashed coldly. How dare you be disrespectful to your concubine, courting death. Great perfume Fema, boom. A terrifying aura erupted from the empress, accompanied by a black hair flow all around. It's conqueror's hockey. The whole Marinford was shaking. Everyone swallowed 293 saliva in fear. Don't be deceived by the title of the world's number one beauty of the pirate queen. She is an extremely rare woman in the sea who owns conquerors. And when a woman starts a fire, it is terrifying in itself. The world's number one beauty is angry, and it is even more terrifying. Blackbeard was sweating profusely anyway. He can't move his body right now and can't use Dark Fruit's abilities. If he was hit by the Empress's great perfume Fema, he would probably die. Crazy woman, crazy woman, what a crazy woman. Blackbeard growled inwardly, struggling to the death. He can't die here. Not to die at the hands of a woman, that would be too insulting. Blackbeard gritted his teeth, tried his best, roared violently and finally broke free from Moria's shackles just as the Empress foot was about to kick his head. Blackbeard hurried to a donkey and rolled around, dodging the Empress perfume Fema. He almost survived, his back was already wet with cold sweat. After the tossing of Moria and the Empress, Blackbeard was already several hundred meters away from Whitebeard's body. It's not that easy to get closer. Not to mention the obstruction of Moria and the Empress, Sengoku also completed the deployment, letting Okiji and Kizaru watch over Blackbeard. In addition, Ake Ainu also climbed up from the ground at this time. Blackbeard's face suddenly became extremely ugly. Now, let alone the ability to take the Whitebeard shock fruit, how can he safely retreat from Marinford is a problem. 193. The tragic Blackbeard, the red hair arrives, and the summit war ends. Add, say Buddy Island. Liu Xing almost laughed. Empress Boa Hancock is truly a unique woman in the world. She often does things that others think are incredible, but seem so reasonable. The world's number one beauty is so willful self-righteous and unreasonable. However, the Empress shot at Badgers and almost killed Blackbeard, which was not unreasonable. She is Filio Crossing. Liu Xing had informed the Empress at the slave auction in Seibadi that Moria was his subordinate. The Queen took this to heart. When Moria goes to set fire to Ace, the Empress is ready to help. Therefore, when she heard Moria say under Liu Xing's order, how could she not act? Only Blackbeard was unlucky. He forbade the plan he had calculated for decades, all because Liu Xing failed. Blackbeard was extremely unwilling looked at Moria and the Empress with hatred, and looked at Whitebeard's body greedily. No, I must get the ability of Shock Fruit, this time must not fail. Blackbeard was going crazy. If he couldn't get Shock Fruit, and he couldn't conquer the criminals on the sixth floor of Impel Down, wouldn't his forbearance over the years become a joke? Blackbeard gritted his teeth and decided to take the plunge, regardless of the risk of getting out of Marinford safely. After all, he has Dark Fruit, the mysterious fruit ability that no one else knows about. Dark Cave. 35. Blackbeard suddenly pressed his hands to the ground. The ground under its feet was instantly covered with endless black water, and it continued to spread around, and soon spread to where Whitebeard was. Moria, your ability to restrain Lao Tzu just now is due to your shadow fruit. I now turn all the ground into darkness, can you still see the shadow of I, thief ha ha ha. Blackbeard grinned, and then turned into a black whirlwind, sweeping towards Whitebeard. The already deployed marine Sengoku, how could Blackbeard succeed, he exclaimed, add, Kizaru, Kizaru who has the ability of the shining fruit, has the fastest speed and also has a long-range attack. Kizaru, who was going to continue to fish, finally took his hand out of his pocket, jumped into the air, and pinched his hands at Blackbeard. I can't let you succeed easily, 
Omo tilde, S H H H H H H H. Countless light projectiles shot at the darkness created by Blackbeard. Light and darkness themselves are two extreme opposites. As soon as they collided, a big explosion occurred immediately. Blackbeard gritted his teeth, desperately creating a steady stream of darkness, swallowing Kizaru's light bullets. Even in severe pain, he did not stop. Seeing this, Admiral Okiji also shot Ice Age. Ka ka ka. Ultimate slow temperature freezes the darkness. Blackbeard's operations are increasingly difficult. Three admirals last at Kainu, needless to say, directly sent a great eruption. The magma fist slammed into Blackbeard's head, trying to kill Blackbeard completely. Blackbeard finally couldn't stand it anymore, and cursed in his heart. FK3 Admiral came to target Lao Tzu. Why didn't I see you guys being so active when fighting Whitebeard? The hated Blackbeard, even if he was not reconciled had no choice but to retreat. He used Dark Fruit's black hole to swallow all four of his subordinates. Then it turned into a black whirlwind again and ran to the coast. There, many pirates in the white group were also fleeing. Obviously, Blackbeard intends to use the white to and people to delay time for him. The three admiral continued their pursuit. Although Ake Ainu was severely injured by Whitebeard, he still rushed forward. You're all going to die, not a pirate will ever leave Marinford. Just as the war is about to break out again. Add, a huge pirate ship suddenly came to the inner circle of Marinford's harbor. Look at the flag on the ship, but it turns out to be red hair pirates. Say buddy land. Liu Xin couldn't help but be surprised. He had been on the phone with his old father-in-law Kaido before, knowing that Kaido and Big Mom had reunited and killed Ben Beckman, the red-haired right-hand man. Did not expect. The red regiment who lost the vice captain still chose to come to Marinford. On the big screen projected by the video phone bug, Shanks, the red-haired group, set foot on Marinford's territory with the red-haired group just lost Ben Beckman's red group, looking somewhat thin and bleak. I'm here to stop this war, the red-haired voice said in a low voice. Upon closer inspection, there was a trace of sadness in his voice. Clearly the redhead hadn't recovered from Beckman's death, but it was just trying to keep his spirits up. The red-haired abnormality was only noticed by the good friend Hawkeye. Hawkeye has taken back the Black Knife Knight. Since Whitebeard is dead, he has no need or intention to make another move. And, I hope everyone in Marine can sell me a face and hand over the bodies of Whitebeard and Firefist Ace to me. 99. The reason why Redhead had to come to Marinford was to collect the bodies of Whitebeard and Ace. This was the last thing he could do for Captain Roger. The Marine party heard the Redhead unreasonable request, and immediately shouted angrily, Redhead, why should we listen to you? We Marine won this war, are you trying to discredit our victory? From the indignant expressions of the sailors, it can be seen that most of them did not agree with the Redhead's request. However, Marshal Sengoku spoke, the old man agreed. Redhead. Whitebeard and Firefist Ace's corpses. The old man can hand them over to you, the sailors said puzzled. Marshal Sengoku, 35. Sengoku waved his hand, and Gangang said arbitrarily, it doesn't matter, all the consequences will be borne by this old man. 39. There are two main reasons for Sengoku to agree to redheads. One is a redhead, very special, and has some involvement with the five elders, and Sengoku has to worry about it. The other is that this war really cannot go on. Not to mention marines casualties, but to say that the next step is to deal with Liu Oxing, the five emperors of Seibadi, Marine's strength can no longer be consumed, and he must preserve his strength. That's it, with the arrival of the Red Hair, this vast summit war finally came to an end. The bodies of Whitebeard and Ace, taken away by the Redhead, Marco and other remnants of the White League have withdrawn from New World. As for Blackbeard, also thanks to the Redhead's delay, managed to slip away. It's just that Blackbeard didn't have a pirate ship, and it didn't grab a warship, just a small sailboat floating on the sea. It is really sad to think of Blackbeard. In this war caused by him, nothing has been gained, and no purpose has been achieved. In the end, he has to run away like a lost dog. The war is over, but the haggard Sengoku can't rest. As soon as he gave orders to treat the wounded marines, he asked Okiji to deal with marine affairs temporarily, and then he went to marry E. Joyce. Regarding the outcome of the summit war and how to deal with Liu Oxing, the five emperors of Seibadi land, he will report to the five elders in person. But Sengoku's handling made Akainu the biggest hero of the war, extremely dissatisfied. Sengoku agreed to the Redhead's unreasonable request, and even asked Okiji to represent Marine's internal affairs. What does this mean? It is obvious that Okiji will be trained as a successor. But why should Okiji be more qualified to take over as Marshal Marine than Ake Ainu? Okiji usually looks lazy and is only better at fishing than Kizaru. In this summit war, Okiji only started to freeze the Whitebeard Tsunami and then dawdled with Diamond Joes for a long time. Who can compare to him at Kainu? Firefist Ace was executed by him, and Whitebeard was basically killed by his hands. How does Okiji's credit compare to him? Sengoku is too eccentric too. At Kainu clenched his fists, was angry, and left with a gloomy face. 194. The shock of the eagle eye, the choice of red hair, the prelude to the huge war. Add, what the redhead actually took away was Whitebeard's body, 
and Ace's body was burned to ashes by Ake Ainu's magma, leaving only a few ashes. Not long after the red hair left, Hawkeye chased after him, along with the red haired, there are the morning Marco, Jaws, Beastu, and other white group remnants. After Hawkeye got on the boat, he frowned and asked, Redhead, what about Beckman? Why didn't you see him? As the red-haired right-hand man and the vice-captain of the Red Regiment, Beckman could not be absent at this time. The red-haired eyes showed sadness, and he said in a low voice, Beckman died, to save us, by the combined giants of Kaido of the Beasts and Charlotte Linlin. 35. What? Hawkeye was shocked. Beckman's strength is comparable to that of the red-head. And he is on par with his eagle eye, but he was actually killed. And listen to the meaning of the red hair. If the red hair does not escape, he will be killed. How did Kaido of the Beasts and Charlotte Linlin Lin suddenly have such power? Hawkeye took a deep breath and said, Fitted giant. Do you mean that these two four emperors used the legendary fused earrings? Red Red sighed, Yeah, the fit earrings have made their strength skyrocket to an incredible level. Their combined skills, Dominion and Baha'i, have the power to destroy the world. 39. Hawkeye was shocked to the point of being speechless, and after a long time he said, Redhead, you didn't lose to Kaido and Big Mum. But the man, the redhead knew who the man Hawkeye was talking about was not Liu Ang Liu Oxing, but who could 293 be. It was because of that man's invention that it greatly changed the situation of the war, especially the battle pattern among the top powerhouses. According to the previous normal situation, if the top powerhouses want to decide the winner, they have to fight for at least a few days and nights. The redhead group with a double emperor configuration, this time to block the Kaido Ant alliance, even if it can't be successful, there will be no problem in retreating. But in fact, at the expense of the deputy Captain Beckman, he barely escaped. Add, the rout cause lies in Liu Oxing's heaven-defying invention. So, what the redhead lost was not Aunt Kaido, but Liu Oxing, who was not ever seen at all. Hawkeye continued, that man took advantage of the summit war to let the beasts and Big Mom seize Whitebeard's territory in the New World, while personally destroying Impel Down and occupying Sebadi. Although the battle of the top is over, it is only the prelude to a bigger war. A new era that no one can stop is coming, redhead and everyone from the Whitebeard Pirates, what are you going to do? Long silence, Marcos said without love, I plan to bury my father's body and Ace's ashes in my father's hometown, and I will protect it there. How the world will change, Bife, and which direction the times will develop, has nothing to do with me. The captains such as Diamond Joes and Foil Beast looked at each other. The pirate groups under the Bay Ituan will basically disperse, but these captains can't. They don't have their own pirate ship, and the Moby Dick is their home. But the home is destroyed. Although the destroyer is marine, but the culprit is Blackbeard Teach. Jaws and other captains clenched their fists and said, Never let that bastard Teach go, we're going to avenge Teach and Daddy. 39. Redhead hesitated. Even if he persuaded the remnants of the white group to stop fighting with Blackbeard, it is estimated that the other party would not listen. The red hair couldn't help but sigh again and said, The era is indeed irreversible, but I still believe that the new era will never be opened by beasts. 99. Hawkeye asked, Why are you so sure? The redhead patted his empty left arm because I have already bet my arm on the new era, add, Redhead always believes, inheriting Captain Roger's straw hat and eating the fruit of the sun god Nika, Luffy of the D family is Joey Boy, who is the savior who will eventually liberate the world, and it wasn't just him, but Deputy Captain Rayleigh believed it too, the Redhead had previously called Rayleigh, knowing that the latter had gone to the Revolutionary Army headquarters, Rayleigh intends to teach Luffy to practice, hoping that the sun god Nika fruit will awaken as soon as possible and change the current severe situation. I'll stick to the new world and wait for you to come, Luffy. The red-haired eyes firmly thought. Red Lion, Holy Land Mary E. Joys, the depths of Pan Ancient City. The five elders were on their knees, receiving the wrath of the Supreme Lord in. Not only did you not kill the man, but you let him destroy Impel Down and occupy the land of Sebadi. The five of you are damned. The five elders trembled and sweated profusely, and cut out desperately. Lord him, we're damned, we're going to salvage the current situation and take back the Sebadi archipelago. Then go soon. Imel Ting was furious and in his spiral patterned eyes, a sharp light like a knife shot out. If the land of Sebadi can't be taken back, the five of you won't have to come back. The five elders tremblingly said, Yes, Lord Im. They hurriedly returned to power, and immediately summoned Kong, the commander-in-chief of the sea, land and air. It just so happens that Sengoku also arrives at this time. The five elders blushed and shouted, Sengoku, you marines have done a good job. You have destroyed the great underwater prison Impel Down. Do you know how much damage this will do to the prestige of the world government and the fall of the Sebadi archipelago? Are you planning to hand over Mary E. Joys to the beast's pirates too? Sengoku's face twitched and his expression was ugly, but he didn't bother to quarrel with the five elders, and said coldly, It's all my responsibility, Marshal Marine, for the situation to develop like this, and I'm here to take the blame and resign. 35. Kong was in a hurry and persuaded, add, Sengoku. If you resign, 
who should Marine be put in charge of? Sengoku had already figured out the answer to this point, saying, Aokiji, I recommend Admiral Kizan to take over the post of Marshal Marine. Sengoku took the blame and resigned, and the five elders' anger slowly faded away. Just for Sengoku's recommendation, the five elders disagree. The bald old man said, I heard that in this war with Whitebeard, Seikezuki has the most credit, he seems to be more qualified to be a marshal than Kizan, right? How could Sengoku not know this? It's just that his philosophy is different from that of Akei Ainu. Also, Gop, an old comrade in arms and an old friend, also has hatred for Akei Ainu. If Akei Ainu is a high-ranking marshal, this matter is very delicate. Therefore, Sengoku said without hesitation, I still recommend Kizin. The five elders thought about it and said, let's discuss this matter later, the key now is to take back the Seipadi archipelago, and never let the beasts stab a knife in our hearts. Kong, this time to attack Seipadi, you will lead the team yourself and I will let CP0 cooperate with you. Sengoku, go back to Marinford now, reorganize Marine's available forces, and march towards Seipadi. Hearing this, Sengoku argued loudly, Marine has just ended the war, and the entire army is exhausted and will have to rest for at least a few days. It's too urgent to start now. The five elders didn't give Sengoku a chance to argue at all. After all, Lordum could give death orders. If Seipadi's land is not recaptured, all five of their heads might have to move. As for the exhaustion of the sailors, Exhaustion has to kill Lao Tzu. In the eyes of the five elders, the fate of ordinary sea soldiers is nothing but lowly slaves. Thousands and tens of thousands die, and they don't care. Five elders could not refuse. The attack on Seibadi must start immediately, without any delay. 195. An army of 50,000 is coming. Sure. Arun Jin by eat dragon level monster cells. Add. Sengoku suppressed his anger and returned to Marinford. Although he had already guessed that the five elders would urge him to attack Sebadi after the summit war. But he didn't even give him a day or two to rest, which still exceeded his original expectations. Looking at the messy scene of Marinford, the port square has been completely destroyed, and a huge gap has been cracked in the middle of the marine headquarters building. These losses are nothing. The biggest loss lies in the casualties of the navy. Most of the 100,000 sailors were wounded, and 10,000 or 20,000 died. Standing on Marinford Square, I could smell the pungent bloody odor and hear the pain wailing of the wounded. There were also some family members of the dead soldiers, crying on the cold corpses. War is like this, ruthless meat grinder, indifferent executioner hand. The weak without strength, do not even know how to die. Sengoku's fist couldn't help clenching tightly, in the face of such a bleak situation. How could he be so embarrassed to talk to the sailors again, and let them go to the next more terrifying battle? Damn five elders, don't take the lives of sailors seriously. Sengoku's A's were red, completely angry, and even scolded the five elders. Kong, who was following behind Sengoku, quickly covered Sengoku's mouth, looked around, and whispered, Sengoku, you don't want to die. If you say something like this, even you will be severely punished. 99. Sengoku grew angrier and shouted at the top of his voice, What can they do? The big deal is to take this old man's life. Commander Kong, you were also Marine's marshal before, don't you know Marine's current casualties? Kong was silent and sighed deeply. How could he not sympathize with the casualties of the Marines? But what can sympathy do? It's useless. The five elders have given death orders. They must obey, otherwise it is equivalent to betraying the world government. No one can afford such consequences. Kong comforted, add, Sengoku, Marine only needs to dispatch the uninjured Marines, and the rest of the troops will be made up by the old man from other departments. Kong as the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, still has power over Sengoku. He can mobilize the forces of other departments of the world government. After Sengoku's anger, he quickly calmed down. With a so-called righteous mission, he can only do it according to the orders of the five elders. Sengoku cheered up, thanked Kong, and went to assemble the army. About 20,000 uninjured sailors were summoned by him. In terms of high-end combat power, it is Okiji and Kizaru, the most radical, Akei Ainu, would not take part in the war against Seibadi, because on the one hand, Ake Ainu has been seriously injured in the previous battle with Whitebeard and is now receiving treatment. On the other hand, Sengoku's selfishness is that he doesn't want to let Ake Ainu make contributions, otherwise the chances of Aokiji taking over as Marine's marshal will undoubtedly become lower. On Kong's side, 30,000 troops were summoned, for a total of 50,000 troops. To be able to assemble such a large army in such a short period of time and just after the summit war ended, the only thing that can do this in this sea is the world government. Immediately after, under the leadership of Kong and Sengoku, 50,000 troops marched towards Seibadi. At the same time, Kong also called the boss of CP0, Mo Mausagi, T. Dolphin and others, and told them to wait for the army to arrive and then act together. The smoke of war has once again permeated the sky. Seibadi Archipelago Liu Xing, who had anticipated that Marine and the world government would come to attack, naturally would not sit still. With Moria leading the arrival of the Dread Bark, 
its army of undead zombies settled in Sabadi land. Together with Liu Oxing's newly conquered Impel Down criminal army, the force reached about 10,000. Although the number is only one-fifth of marines, don't forget that these people have eaten monster cells, and all them can exist as one out of ten. Moreover, they are not afraid of death, and they are a mess. Add, however, to be on the safe side, Liu Oxing still intends to raise the strength of his subordinates to a higher level. He called Sha Aru, Jinbai, the King of Evil, the Crescent Hunter, the Big Wine Barrel, and the huge battleship, Zora, Enlan Moriu are on both sides of Liu Crossing. Liu Oxing glanced at the six people and said in a light voice, You are about to start a war with the world government. You are strong, but not strong enough. I have a lot of monster cells on my hands now. Do you want to eat them? Sha Aru's eyes lit up immediately. Weird cells, that's something more precious than devil fruit. If you eat one, your strength will skyrocket instantly. How could they not be willing? Even Hexia Jinbai would not refuse the benefit of this increased strength. Seeing that the six of them chose to eat without hesitation, Liu Xing nodded in satisfaction and continued, Weird cells are divided into high level and low level. The high level ones will increase your strength more, but the side effects will also be greater. If you can't bear it, you will immediately explode and die. Liu Xing took out a few dragon level monster cells and ghost level monster cells, threw them on the ground and let the six people choose. It's up to you to choose which to eat. 35. The four people who should have joined the Blackbeard camp, including the King of Evil and the Crescent Hunter, suddenly hesitated, asking for flowers. The skyrocketing strength is tempting, but you have to enjoy it with your life. Life is the most important thing. The four of them unanimously chose to eat ghost-level monster cells. After eating, their bodies changed drastically, their height doubled, and the aura around them became extremely powerful. Ha ha ha, this power is too powerful, it really deserves to be a freak cell. 35. The King of Evil Government laughed loudly. The surging power in his body made him extremely excited. The strength of the four has increased at different levels, and the most obvious increase is that of Crescent Hunter Katrin Demai. The person is originally a phantom beast, Nine Tails Fox form ability, and the ghost level monster cell further strengthens her devil fruit ability. In the end only Sha Aru and Jinbai were left. Sha Aru took a cigar, picked up a dragon level monster cell, and said with a bloodthirsty smile, Add, if you are afraid of death, what kind of pirates are you? Saying that, he swallowed the dragon level monster cell, which was twice the size of the ghost level monster cell. Next moment, Sha Aru of the Rain let out a suppressed scream. The four evil kings looked at Sha Aru of the Rain with Schadenfreude. Sha Aru's words just now were clearly mocking the four of them. And when Sha Aru was the chief warden in Impel Down, he didn't flog them less. This bastard is better off dead. Unfortunately, Sha Aru didn't die in the end. Although he roared in pain and his whole body was covered in blood. He still insisted on gritting his teeth. At this time, Jinbai also picked up a dragon level monster cell. The old Jinbai, who could save four emperors, said with aplomb, not just summit war and say buddy, but the whole world is about to break out into a huge war. Since the old man has joined the hundred beasts, of course he has to contribute. Besides, even for the safety of the fishmen island, the old man has to become stronger, so it doesn't matter if he dies. 5. Jinbai began to choose to join the hundred beasts, mainly for the future of the fishmen island. But later, I saw the magnificent Haki when Liu Oxing killed Bullet. That kind of bearing is almost the same as that of the further white beard. Jinbai couldn't help it. Plus, it was Liu Oxing who ordered Moria to release her best friend Ace from the execution stand. Although Ace was killed in the end, Jinbai still had to repay this favor. In addition, it was also because of Liu Oxing that Blackbeard did not let his further white beard's body succeed. All these make Jinbai very grateful to Liu Oxing. He is a person with clear grievances and his loyalty to Liu Xing has been somewhat sincere. Hexia Jinbai fearlessly devoured the dragon-level monster cells. 196. Sha Aru and Jinbai, you have skyrocketed in strength. Okiji wants to compete for the position of Marshal. Add, among Liu Xing's new subordinates, Sha Aru, Jinbai, King of Evil, Crescent Hunter, Big Wine Barrel, and San Juan Bad Wolf are the strongest. They all have the strength to briefly challenge the four emperor's admiral-level powerhouse. But really, the difference is not small. Marine and world government are about to attack, Liu Oxing will naturally use monster cells to raise their strength. The four kings of evil government at ghost level monster cells, and their strength skyrocketed, enough to contain the four emperor's admiral level powerhouses for a while. And if two or three people join forces, they can compete with the top powerhouses without falling behind. The bloodthirsty Sha Aru of the Rain, the generous and fearless sea hero Jinbai, chose to eat the more dangerous dragon level monster cells. Dragon level monster cells and ghost level monster cells are only one level apart, but their strength is incomparable. Just look at the sight in front of you. The four evil kings didn't suffer much when they ate the ghost level monster cells just now. But Sha Aru and Jinbai, who were stronger than them, both let out suppressed growls after eating the human cells of the dragon level monster 293. The skin of Sha Aru Vain was cracked every inch, bloody, 
and he looked like Liao person. Zora on the side muttered secretly, when I ate dragon level monster cells, I wasn't as good as them, my limbs exploded. If it wasn't for Lord Liu Oak Sing's fairy beans, I'd be dead by now. 99. Think Zora has grown from a fledgling boy who was brutally killed with a knife by Hawkeye to a top swordsman who can compete with Pluton Rayleigh. This process in the middle, but only a few short months. Zora himself practiced extremely hard, and obtained the second generation get to, which allowed him to develop the Ghost Flow swordsmanship, and the master mastered the Nine Knife Flow. One is that the dragon level monster cell greatly stimulated his potential and raised his upper limit. In the end, it was because of Liu Ok Sing's teaching. Liu Ok Sing personally directed Zora's practice in Haki. Therefore, Liu Ok Sing is half of Zora's master. Five or six minutes later, Sha Aru and Jinbai's painful growls finally subsided. Two auras like wild beasts radiate from them. Add. The moment they sensed this breath, the King of Evil and Catherine Demi couldn't help but tremble with fear. This breath is too powerful, so that they, who have just soared in strength, have a premonition that they are unmatched. Are dragon level monster cells so much stronger than ghost level cells? Catherine Demi couldn't help but regret it, knowing that she also at dragon level. Compared with the evil king, the big wine barrel, and the evil wolf, as a zone phantom beast, she does have a great possibility to withstand the side effects of dragon level monster cells. However, she does not have sure or is bloodthirsty, nor Jinbai's determination and fearlessness. After all, even the most vicious criminals, few are really not afraid of death. Otherwise, they would not have surrendered to Blackbeard in the original book, and now they would not be obedient to Liu Ok Sing's orders. Sha Aru of Rain, who nearly doubled in size, let out a wildly excited laugh. This kind of power, this sense of power that keeps coming up, is really wonderful. Now if I face Magellan again, I will definitely be able to beat him. Sha Aru lost a battle with Magellan and was thrown into prison by the opponent. Because of Liu Ok Sing's invasion, Magellan released him, counting on him to help him pale down. As a result, Sha Aru not only failed to help, but turned his back. Magellan was eventually killed, and he also had a helping hand. Compared to Sha Aru's excitement, Jinbai was relatively calm, but he couldn't hide the shocked expression on his face. It's an incredible monster cell, it's just reborn this old man. Murlocs themselves are stronger than humans of the same level, and Jinbai is the most ferocious whale shark. With the increase of dragon level monster cells, his fangs became sharper, his limbs became thicker, and the blue fish scales on his body were shining like gems. It looks extremely extraordinary. Liu Ok Sing smiled slightly and looked at the boundless sea. On the sea level in the distance, dozens of huge warships are heading towards the Seibadi archipelago. On the warships, the flags of marine and world government were flying. It was the 50,000 army led by Kong and Sengoku. Liu Ok Sing's voice said, Add, since you all feel good, let me see your current power. Sha Aru of the Rain was gearing up, with bloodthirsty light flashing in his eyes, and said, I won't let you down, Lord Liu Ok Sing. My subordinates will not leave behind the armor of those pirates. Then, Sha Aru, Jinbai, King of Evil, Crescent Hunter, Big Wine Barrel, and Evil Wolf, who had just eaten the monster cells, boarded a ship and went straight to the huge fleet of the world government. Liu Ok Sing brought Zora, Enl, Moriu and, of course, Perona, a ghost girl with pink double ponytails, to watch from the shore. Report Commander Kong, Marshal Sengoku, the beast's pirates have sent a ship that is approaching us. 35. The Sentinel of the Watchtower sent information. Kong and Sengoku could not help but look puzzled. The other party only sent one ship. What are you doing? Courting death. They have a full force of 50,000 troops. And there are many high-end combat powers such as Aokiji, Kizaru, CP0, Momao Sagi, and T-Dolphins. Aokiji said, 5 Emperor Liu Ok Sing, really didn't take us seriously. Aokiji, who has always been lazy, plans to have a big fight this time. Because Sengoku had already told him thoroughly. He recommended him to take over as Marines Marshal, but the five elders believed that Ake Ainu deserved more credit and preferred Ake Ainu to be the Marshal. Okiji is also ambitious, and of course he wants to be a Marshal. Also, even if he is wrong, he must never let the extreme Ake Ainu be. As Okiji who has been following Garp Sass for a long time, he is extremely opposed to Ake Ainu's philosophy, especially in the Ohara incident. Ake Ainu even bombarded civilian boats, giving Okiji a great shock since then. Okiji has been unable to get along with Ake Ainu, who is from the same family. It was also from that time that Okiji began to doubt the justice of the world government, so he let Nico Robin go after Marine Admiral's career. He did not regard Marine as the only one, but continued to find his own justice. And if there is a chance to become a marshal, lead Marine, and transform Marine into an army that conforms to his own justice, of course Okiji will not let it go. Add, he wants to compete with Ake Ainu for the position of marshal. A proud soldier will be defeated, Sengoku said. The Five Emperors Liu Ok Sing's journey has been too smooth, and it will inevitably breed arrogance and arrogance, and he is doomed to fail in this war. 35. Aokiji, take someone to sink that ship and give the beast's pirates a blow. Aokiji nodded in command, 
He boarded a warship next to him and greeted the ships of the Hundred Beasts. Looking at Okiji's back, the commander-in-chief Kong felt a little uneasy in his heart, and said, Judging from Wu Huang Liu Ok Sing's past deeds, he doesn't seem like a foolish and complacent person, that ship may be deceitful. Sengoku and Liu Ok Sing have exchanged hands several times over the air. He 5.4 knows Liu Ok Sing better than Kong, and of course knows that Liu Ok Sing is not stupid. Not only is he not, but he is a genius of the world who is full of wisdom and wisdom. And why did Sengoku say those words just now? Naturally, to boost the morale of Marine. Marine's morale is low right now. After all, the summit war has just ended, and he hasn't had time to rest. And this time the enemy is the unfathomable and invincible Yuang Liu Ok Sing and the sailors are inevitably uneasy. As for letting Okiji go, Sengoku was well thought out. Because of Okiji's frozen fruit ability, it has a great advantage in naval battles. Even if the ship of the Hundred Beasts is deceived, Okiji can easily escape. The large troops behind them can prepare in advance. Sengoku deserves to be called the resourceful general, and at this time, he still calmly made the best choice. Pity, his enemy this time is Liu Crossing. The monster cell invented by Liu Oksing will once again give him a huge surprise. 197. Okiji's shock. Furious CPO. The war broke out. Add. The warship that Okiji was on soon saw the oncoming ship of the beasts. Okiji's pupils shrank slightly as he looked at several powerful figures on the opposite boat. No wonder the five emperors Liu Oksing dared to send only one boat. It turned out to be these monsters. 35. Okiji recognizes the six paths figure on the opposite side. Sha. Aru of the Rain, former chief warden of Impel Down, Okiji met several times. Jinbai, the original seven warlords of the sea, came to Marinford for the first Shikai Bukai meeting. The remaining four vicious guys are all criminals on the sixth floor of Impel Down. Okiji narrowed his eyes, a dangerous light flashing in his eyes. These six people are the great enemies of Marine and the world government. If he can arrest or kill them, his credit will be on par with Akainu in an instant. At that point, the five elders will have no reason to disagree with him as Marine. However, before Okiji could speak, Shuru of the Rain took out his Sabbath thunderstorm, licked his tongue on the sharp blade, and his tone was full of bloodthirsty taste. It turned out to be the highest combat power of the government. Admiral Kizin, just right, just take your blood and try the blade of Lao Tzu 18 now. Hearing this, Okiji's face sank, and he said, Sha, Aru, as a traitor, how dare you speak out like this? It is because of your betrayal that Impel Down will be destroyed, Magellan will be killed, let me execute you today. Ice cube childish mouth. Okiji stretched out his right arm, and the endless ice cubes condensed into a huge ice bird, which shot out in the direction of Sha, Aru. If it is hit by this huge ice bird, the whole ship will definitely sink. However, the six people on the boat did not show any panicked expressions. Although Okiji's move is strong, it is nothing to them who have eaten monster cells, and it is far from enough to determine the outcome with one blow. Except for Shuru, everyone else has no plans to make a move for the time being. Shuru sneered with a cigar in his mouth and swung a knife at the giant ice bird. Hum, a powerful slashing wave slashed through the air, directly slicing the huge ice bird in two, and continued to slash towards the warship where Okiji was. Okiji was visibly taken aback. When did Shuru's strength become so powerful? Although the previous Shuru was very strong, he couldn't beat Magellan, and there was definitely a big gap between him and Okiji at the admiral level. But Shuru's sword just cracked his ice cube so easily. Okiji's heart skipped a beat, feeling a little uneasy. Shuru's strength is definitely stronger than before. And the only thing that can do this is the weird cell invented by Yuang Liu Oxing. Did all six of them eat monster cells? 9. Thinking of this, Okiji was startled. If this is the case, then he may not only be unable to catch the six people on the opposite side, but may also be very embarrassed. Okiji didn't dare to neglect any more, and decided to show all his strength. He leapt and jumped high into the air, dodging Shuru's slashing waves. Immediately, he squeezed his hands together and drank loudly. Puck. Ka ka ka. Several thick icicles emanated from Okiji's hands and shot at Shuru and the others at an extremely fast speed. These icicles contain the coldness of ultimate, and as long as they are touched, whether it is a person or an object, they will be instantly frozen. Kuzin, you underestimate me now, how can I let you succeed? Shuru grinned even more. The thunderstorm in his hand chopped off countless after images. In an instant, Okaji's icicles turned into ice chips. Add. Then, a huge slashing wave was cut out again, and Okiji in the air couldn't dodge. His body was cut from the middle and fell to the sea. Gigi, the so-called admiral with the highest combat power is nothing more than that. It was solved so easily. The king of evil, Catherine Dima and the others sneered disdainfully. Hexia Jinbai frowned and said, How can it be so easy to solve? Each marine admiral has unimaginable strength. Don't think that you can underestimate them by eating monster cells. As Jinbai said, Okiji is not dead. He was divided into two halves and fell to the sea surface. Not only did not sink, but the sea surface was frozen into ice. Ice age. The frozen ice surface extended rapidly 
freezing the ships of the Hundred Beasts in a blink of an eye. Aokiji recovered his body and said coldly, Now you have nowhere to run. As soon as these words came out, Shara seemed to have heard a big joke, and laughed loudly, You are the one with nowhere to run, Admiral Kizin. The four evil kings who were just beaten in the face were not embarrassed, and they laughed wildly. Let's go out and kill this marine admiral. Saying that, the four jumped onto the ice with Shara and besieged Aokiji. Among the four evil kings, Catherine Demai is the strongest, and she is a phantom beast with the ability of Ninetales Fox. She has a very special ability and seems to have the means to confuse the enemy. In short, the four who have been blessed by ghost level monster cells have the strength to challenge Admiral themselves. Coupled with Shara of Rain who at dragon level monster cells, Okiji would be an opponent, and it would soon be at stake. The last Jinbai didn't even watch. As a Merlog, the sea is his home. Jinbai directly broke the ice surface, drilled into the bottom of the sea, used Merlog Karate on the bottom of the sea and held the current master in his hand. The current falls over the shoulder, add, boom, a thick current of more than 10 meters gushed out from the bottom of the sea, hitting the chest of Okiji, who had no time to avoid it. Okiji was knocked out, and happened to hit the warship he was on, and the entire warship was destroyed. Okiji smashed into the sea, but luckily he reacted fast enough, and at 293, the sea that landed on the ground was frozen into ice. Otherwise, if he falls into the bottom of the sea, he will surely die. Okiji got up, wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, and his face became extremely ugly. He greatly underestimated the strength of the opposite six. At this time, seeing Kong, Sengoku and others who were in a bad situation in Okiji's battle, they had already caught up very quickly. They were also extremely shocked by the strength of the Shara six. Sengoku pulled Okiji onto the boat and asked with concern, Kuzin, how is your injury? Okiji said, it's not a big problem, it's just that these guys have all eaten monster cells. Their strength is not comparable to the past it is really difficult to deal with. 5. It's the monster cell again. The invention of the five emperors Liu Xing. The boss of CP0 was annoyed. Liu Xing's invention brought unprecedented trouble to the world government. Impel Dan was destroyed and Seibadi land was occupied, all because of a random door invented by Liu Xing, which made them play around. The boss of CP0 couldn't bear it anymore, and he said to all the members of CP0, Let's do it together and kill those six bastards. More than ten members of CP0 were dispatched collectively. They are all strong in Grandmaster Marine 6 styles, and they can use Moonwalk to walk in the air. One by one, they all went to the sky, and then they used the Tempest Kick as if they had already agreed. Buzz. In an instant, dozens of slashing waves shot out densely like rain. 198. The chaos begins. Jinpf Sengoku. Mo Mausagi's charm skills. Add. It is extremely rare in the 800 year history of world government that all members of CP0 acted together. They simultaneously unleashed Tempest Kick, dozens of tyrannical slashing waves that made the scalp tingle. However, just when these slashing waves were about to fall on the ships of the Hundred Beasts, a big hand like a mountain suddenly enveloped the slashing waves. It hurts. It hurts my hands. The sound of the urn was like a muffled thunder, and it was the huge battleship San Juan Evil Wolf. The man himself is the tallest giant in the world, reaching a height of more than 100 meters. After eating the ghost level monster cells, the body swelled again, and it has been more than 200 meters. With every gesture, the ground is shaking. Bang! San Juan Evil Wolf jumped directly into the sea, setting off huge waves. He laughed and kept flapping the sea water. Go to hell, marine and government bastards. Whoa! The water churned by the San Juan Wolf created a tsunami that slammed into marines dozens of warships. Although this tsunami was not as exaggerated as the one caused by Whitebeard during Summit War, it should not be underestimated. If it is really hit, I don't know how many warships will be sunk. Fortunately, they have a frozen fruit ability, Admiral Okiji. Okiji used the Ice Age again to freeze the tsunami and the surrounding sea into ice. Fire the cannons, push them back, and take the land of Seibadi. Kong ordered, it's not enough to spend it with Shara and the others at sea. Their goal this time is to retake the Seibadi archipelago. Boom boom boom. Countless artillery shells fell from the sky like a downpour. It's just that the shells are deadly enough for ordinary people, but they are nothing to the real powerhouse. Shara of the rain swept across with his sword, and easily wiped out more than ten shells. The king of evil, Catherine Demai, Big Wine Barrel, and Evil Wolf all shot, or smashed the cannonballs into the air, or crushed the cannonballs into pieces. They are like wild beasts, and ordinary means of attack are ineffective against them. Add, at this time, Jinbai who had drilled into the bottom of the sea before, launched an attack again, and aimed directly at Marine's main warship. Merlock Jujutsu Shuik sent Super Ocean Flow over the shoulder tilde exclamation mark 99. Jinbai let out a low voice, and the huge ocean current gathered in his hands. The dragon level monster cells have greatly increased his strength, and the ocean currents that he can mobilize are nearly ten times higher than before. The size and power of the current over the shoulder this time is also ten times that of the past. Boom! The ocean water column with a size of hundreds of meters broke through the ice surface and rushed towards the main warship where Kong, 
Sengoku and others were standing at an extremely fast speed. Sengoku's face changed suddenly. Jinbai, you bastard, betrayed us too. Jinbai Kaido at the bottom of the sea. No, it's not a betrayal. Since the moment I was put in Impel Down, I'm no longer Shikai Bukai. Now it's up to you, Sengoku. Just do it for yourselves. Sengoku's expression was ugly, and he suppressed his anger and said, In that case, the old man will execute you with his own hands. 35. Buzzing. Straws of golden ripples rippled around. Sengoku transforms into a golden Buddha. He stretched out his golden palm and patted the huge water column. What? Sengoku was taken aback. The strength and density of the water column are so great that he didn't shoot it away immediately. This guy Jinbai has also eaten monster cells, and his strength has greatly increased. Sengoku resented. Why is this freak cell so heaven defying? He had no choice but to use all his strength, and finally smashed the water column of the sea, and then sent a shock wave of terror to Jinbai under the sea. Jinbai was fearless. Samada held the master fist, and punched out. Mum and Karate profound truth, Giwa Zenkwan. The powerful force of the fist blows, forming an air cannon, and carrying the infinite sea water to the shockwave of the Buddha Sengoku. Boom, terrible explosion, add. The hurricanes and seawater that set off were like a storm. Whoops, everyone is like a monster. But our mission this time must be completed. Capturing the thief first, the king, the old man should shoot directly at the master. Admiral Kizaru, who had been watching the play, moved. He turned into a bright golden light and flew into the air. Pinch your hands together facing the direction of the Seibadi archipelago. Eight feet joined Omo. Immediately, countless light bullets hit Liu Oxing and others on the ground in Seibadi. Although the distance between them is several hundred meters, Kizaru's attack range is far away. But, these light bullets did not hit Seibadi's ground, and a long knife stopped the light bullets halfway. Clang clang. The long knife wielded air tightly, accurately slashing every light bullet. Kizaru crooked his mouth when he saw this. Shuru, the great guard of the long reign, your swordsmanship has improved a lot. Shuru sneered. Kizaru, how do you know if you haven't experienced it yourself? Talking, Shuru jumped up and slashed towards Kizaru from above. Kizaru raised his eyebrows and bumped his hands together. Dankin Cloud Sword. Immediately, a golden lightsaber appeared in his hand. Block Shuru's knife. The two shook hands. Although Liu Oxing only sent one boat and six people, all of them were the strongest among the strong. Marine side Okiji, CP0, Sengoku, Kizaru all shot one after another but still failed to defeat the six. Kong knew that he had to step up his efforts, otherwise it would be a big blow to morale if he was held back by the mere six people. He said, apostrophe. Mo Mousagi, T Dolphin, let's do it too. Both are Admiral Alternates, and both have strengths close to Admiral level. Add, the T Dolphin's face was full of murderous aura, as early as when Impel was down. He was very jealous of Mo Mousagi's attention to Liu crossing. Now this jealousy has turned into killing intent. He wants to kill the bastards in front of him and finally kill the man. But the ideal is very plump, and the reality is very skinny. The wicked king and the big kegs had their eyes on him. The king of evil politics grinned fiercely and said, I heard that you are an admiral candidate. The blood on your body must be delicious, right? The big barrel burped and said, Besides wine, enemy blood is my favorite drink. The cold hair of the tea dolphin stands upright. These two monsters actually drink blood. Are they still human? Mo Mousagi on the other side met Katrin Dima, Catherine Temi who is a phantom beast with the ability of the Ninetales fox form, has a very ugly appearance. Compared with Mo Mousagi, who has a good figure and a pretty face, she is like a world. Katrin Dimai's mouth couldn't help revealing a cruel smile. She's such a beautiful beauty, I really want to slash your face into pieces. Mo Mousagi pulled out the famous sword Jinpira from his waist, and his smile was strangely sweet. I didn't expect the murderous crescent hunter to be jealous of the beauty of others like ordinary women. A strange light suddenly flashed in Katrin Dimai's eyes. This is a confused skill that comes with the nine tails fox fruit. Mo Mousagi felt dizzy when she saw the strange light. Katrin Dimai smiled proudly and was about to step forward and cut through Mo Mousagi's delicate face. Suddenly, he staggered in his footsteps and almost became unsteady. Mo Mousagi giggled. Not only you can confuse people, but others also have the ability to charm. Mo Mousagi. Just listening to this code name makes people think. Her abilities, of course, are also very special. Ordinary men will be dizzy and dizzy in front of her, and they will die in confusion. Even a woman can be tricked by accident. 199. Liu Xing was moved by Mo Mao Sagi, the strongest zombie demon Oz appeared. Add. The confrontation between Mo Mao Sagi and Catherine Dimai is not as rough and fierce as the men, and it seems very calm. A pink mist flows around the two of them. There is a faint flash of sword light. Nine more fox tails dance like brooms. Although this kind of confrontation does not look so earth-shattering, the danger contained in it is no less than that of other battlefields. Say Buddy Island. Liu Xing's eyes have been scanning the entire battlefield lightly. Whether it was Okiji, Kizaru, or Marshal Sengoku, 
who stood at the top of Marine, he did not show any strange expressions. He only raised his eyebrows when he saw Mo Mousaki leave. In other words, Liu Oxing loves beauties, and likes to collect all kinds of flowers. But he has never shown mercy to the lackeys who are loyal to the world government, such as the petite queen of the pleasure district Stussy, such as the long-legged CP9 member Khalifa in black socks. Liu Oxing didn't blink when he killed them. But Mo Mousagi Jian is not the same as those vulgar women. This is Liu Oxing's first impression when he sees this woman. Liu Oxing seemed to be able to smell the pink fragrance of this woman even at a distance or several hundred meters. Liu Oxing inevitably moved to collect this pink beach blossom. Speaking of Marine's girl, he also collected two before. One is Ain, a disciple of Zephyr, and the other is Tashigai, the lovely sister. Ai Yin was fine, because Zephyr's last words wanted to see the future world for teacher Zephyr. She is relatively submissive to Liu Oxing. When Liu Oxing hugged her that night, she didn't resist much. But little sister Tashigai was a little lost. Even though Liu Oxing had taught her swordsmanship for a few hours, Tashigai still resisted fiercely. When Liu Oxing left Punk Hazard that day, little sister Tashigai cried with rain and her silver teeth were about to break. The empathetic Liu Oxing decided that Tashigai could not keep this mentality, and he still hoped that his woman would be happier. Well, I saw Mo Mousagi. Mo Mousagi and Tashigai should know each other, it's a good idea for the two girls to be companions. Add. No one knew what Liu Oxing was thinking at the moment, only Perona, who was floating in the air, could see a little bit. Perona bit her red lips and thought to herself, this bad guy must have some bad intentions. Woo <laughs> such a kawaii girl has been harmed by him. Thinking of what happened to her, Perona's A's were red and she cried pitifully. When she met Liu Oxing for the first time, Liu Oxing said that she was just a collector who was interested. Perona didn't know what it meant at the time. But just a few hours ago, she completely understood. The bad man suddenly appeared in her room through that strange random door. Grab her double ponytail and bully her. Woo woo woo, it's so bad. Perona was crying fiercely, but the man still showed no mercy. As a result, Perona's body is still unable to move, and can only float in the air in the form of a spiritual body. Liu Oxing heard Perona's sobbing glanced over, and said gently, what's the matter, who bullied you? Perona turned her head angrily, who else could it be, it's not your big bad guy. Liu Oxing probably guessed the reason, but pretended not to know, and continued to say gently, don't worry, I will protect you in the future, no one can bully you except me. Perona's big ears suddenly widened, her mouth bulging like Xia Dubao, and she glared at Liu Oxing fiercely, you, you, big bad guy, what do you mean besides you? Do you still want to bully me? Perona was about to shout when Liu Oxing spoke to Moria with a solemn expression. Moria, you go on the dread bark and charge the marine fleet. Moria was the person Perona most respected, and Perona had no choice but to swallow the words in her throat. It's just that the mouth is still bulging, and the big eyes are angry and aggrieved. The terror bark should be the largest ship in the world, it is the size of an island, and it is not a problem to carry tens of thousands of people. Liu Oxing brought the criminal army under his command, merged with a zombie army on the ship, and pressed towards the marine fleet. It means that this Sabadi archipelago battle has officially entered the white hot stage. Add. The terrifying three-masted ship is completely black, like a ghost ship from hell, with a strong dark atmosphere. The 50 comma strong army led by Kong couldn't help feeling panic when they saw such a terrifying giant ship. Even the old and strong Kong took a deep breath. Five Emperor Liu Oxing personally dispatched, success or failure, Bife, in one fell swoop. He did not dare to neglect and immediately ordered dozens of warships to line up and start shelling at the same time. S-H-H-H-H-H-H-H. Hundreds of thousands of artillery shells shot out at once, all of which came towards the terrifying three-masted ship. Liu Oxing stood with his hands behind his back, motionless. After that, En laughed wildly. 300 million volts thunder net, 35. The huge net of thunder made up of thunder, wrapping all the shells together and blowing up. En immediately turned into a bolt of lightning, rushed towards Marine, and said with a grin. The ants who do not know whether to live or die, dare to oppose the young master. Accept the punishment of God. And will directly launch a thunderstorm, an endless thunder fell from the sky. Click. A thick bolt of lightning hit a warship, and the warship burst into flames, and the marine above was also electrocuted into coke. Kizaru, who was competing with Shahara in swordsmanship, looked out of the corner of his eye. Thunder fruit is really scary, even the old man's shining fruit can't suppress it. Kizaru and Enl played against each other, thunder and light. Hard to tell the winner. Kong was furious. If it is bombarded by thunderstorms like this, how many warships will be destroyed? The former Marine Marshal, now the world government's commander-in-chief of the sea, land and air, intends to go out in person. He charged at N like a cannonball with violent anger and the mighty Haki, shouting, Get off my old man, you thundering bastard. 39. As the dread barks and the Marine fleet approached, the 50,000 sea soldiers and Liu Oxing's criminal army and zombie army officially began to face each other. Add. The screams of killing were deafening. The smell of blood filled the sky, 
and the surrounding sea area was dyed red, and most of these blood came from marine. Although the number of marines is five times that of Liu Oxing's side, the criminals and zombies on Liu Oxing's side are all fearless existences, and each one can equal ten. Fierce criminals, ferocious zombies, and ordinary marines were easily torn apart by them like tofu. If this goes on, it will be a matter of time before the navy loses. Admiral Okaji, who was vying for the position of Marshal Marine, could not allow this to continue. He leapt, freed from the entanglement of the San Juan Bad Wolf, and jumped onto the terrifying bark. Against the criminal army and the zombie army, a wide range of freezing skills were launched. Okiji was clearly planning to freeze all these people to death. Ka ka ka, with Okiji's feet as the center, ice cubes spread rapidly, freezing dozens of criminals and zombies in no time. But just when Okiji was ready to make persistent efforts, a huge figure like a mountain suddenly pressed down from the top of his head. Okiji was taken aback. Who is it? San Juan Bad Wolf. Impossible. With that guy's size, he couldn't jump so high, and he couldn't catch up so quickly. Okiji looked up, and was immediately shocked. That mountain-like figure is indeed not San Juan Evil Wolf, but his body is almost the same size as San Juan Evil Wolf. However, its speed and flexibility are far from comparable to San Juan Evil Wolf. Just listen to the muffled roar of the huge figure. Six styles six king guns. The huge fist slammed down suddenly, instantly smashing Okiji's body into powder. The enormous power even penetrated the ground of the three-masted ship. With such size, speed, and strength, who is not the strongest zombie demon Oz made from Roblox eyes shadow and dragon level monster cells. 200. The terrible devil Oz. Liu Xing action, target Momo Sagi. Add, the demon Oz is 200 meters tall, and just because of his huge body, gives people a great sense of oppression. And the shadow of Roblox I stuffed into his body makes his movements not as slow as San Juan Bad Wolf, but very flexible and sensitive. The Marine Six styles are also superb, their power is terrifying, and they are even higher than CP0 in terms of momentum. The dragon-level monster cells that the Devil Oz had eaten made his skin as strong as steel, almost indestructible. In addition, he himself is a zombie, without any emotion of pain and fear. This is a complete killing machine, invincible. Monster. Seeing Ozzy's fierce aura and crazy expression, Liu Xing's mouth twitched with satisfaction. He couldn't help but think of the Hulk Hulk in the Marvel world he had seen in his previous life, which was somewhat similar to the Devil Oz. But Oz was obviously stronger and more violent than Hulk. I saw that Oz had already hammered Okiji into ice cubes, but he kept waving his fists at the ice cubes, as if he would never give up until he crushed the opponent to ashes. Okiji put the body element out in advance. He went around behind Oz. His figure reappeared and slapped his hands on the ground, frozen time capsule. Ultimate Sicy Chill spreads along the ground, towards Oz. The spread is so fast that it is impossible for ordinary people to avoid it. But just as he was about to come into contact with Oz, his mountain-like figure suddenly disappeared in place. This is Marine Six style shave. Okiji was shocked. Can such a huge body use shaving? It stands to reason. With Oz's weight and the wind pressure generated when moving, it is impossible to shave almost as much as teleportation. But, the dragon-level monster cells that Oz et made the impossible possible. Regardless of Oz's huge size, his muscle distribution is as if it had been measured by precision instruments, and his position is extremely reasonable. When moving, the air resistance caused by the body will be reduced to a minimum. Add, coupled with his terrifying power that can move mountains and seas, only then can he use teleportation moves like shaving. At the moment when Okiji was shocked, the devil Oz had flashed to his side in an instant and his huge fists were blasted out like cannonballs. Okiji deserves to be the most powerful admiral, even though he was still in a state of shock, he still reacted in time. Without a word, he created a thick wall of ice, blocking him. At the same time, the cold air under his feet was released and spread to Oz's feet, trying to freeze the opponent's legs and restrain the opponent's actions. But Oz's epidermal defense is too strong, and Okiji's cold air can only freeze the surface, and cannot penetrate deep into the interior. Therefore, Oz stomped his foot directly and shattered the ice on his legs. His huge fist didn't stop at all, smashing the thick ice wall, hitting Okiji's chest. The monstrous strength smashed Okiji into ice chips again. When the ice that fell to the ground condensed into Okiji's body again, a trace of blood spilled from his mouth, and his face became rare and solemn. The terrifying size, the extremely fast speed, the ferocious strength, and the surface defense that even the freezing can hardly penetrate into its body. Such an enemy is really tricky. By this time. The high-end combat power of marine and world government has basically ended. Admiral Okijifs Oz the Devil, Admiral Kizaraf's Sher of Rain, Marshal Sengok vs Haxia Jinbai, Commander Kong vs Thor Enl, Admiral Alternate T Dolphin vs Evil King and Big Wine Barrel, Admiral Candidate Mo Mausagif's Crescent Hunter Katrin Dimai. These people are all first-class powerhouses in the world. With every gesture, the wind and clouds change color, and the sea churns in the sky and the earth. The wind howled, 
lightning and thunder, the fierce sword energy and the terrifying shockwave swept across all directions, waiting for casual people to touch and die, add, and the battle between the strong. It is difficult to tell the winner in a short time. The CPO boss knows that the situation can no longer be allowed to develop like this, because 50,000 marines are clearly at a disadvantage against the extremely vicious criminal legion and the undead zombie legion. With the passage of time, the balance of victory will fall to the side of the hundred beasts. Catch the thief first to catch the king. If you want to change the current situation, the best way is to kill Yuang Liu Oxing. That way, not only can this war be won, but the five elders will also be able to explain it. Without any hesitation, the boss of CPO immediately gave an order and led more than a dozen members of CP0 to step on the moonwalk and rush towards Liu Oxing at high speed. Liu Oxing is here. The strong ones and Zora and Moria didn't shoot. Zora pulled out three knives and made a big black rope tornado breaking the formation of CP0. Then the three swordsman Jayuki, directly confronted the strongest CP0 boss. The boss of CPO was furious and shouted, Go away, I'm not targeting you. Zora grinned and said, I have only heard that hunters choose their prey, but I have never heard that the prey has autonomy. Dot. Ask for flowers. Boss CP0's face suddenly became extremely gloomy, and he said coldly, What are you talking about? It's a lot of courage to take out you as a prey. The boss of CP0 is a mysterious figure. As the leader of the highest government cipher poll, the missions he performed were generally assassination, lurking, and never failed. Everyone who saw him died. Therefore, there is very little information about him from the outside world. The only certainty is that this man is definitely not under Marine Admiral. When he showed killing intent to Zora, the surging murderous intent made the hairs stand up. Add, this sense of crisis made Zora even more excited. Only in the fierce battle. His strength can be further improved. Zoro attacked first. His blood is boiling. The boss of CP0 was blocked by Zora, and the other CPO members continued to rush towards Liu O crossing. Liu O Xing was too lazy to move. He tapped his feet, his figure flickered a few times, and he was a few hundred meters away, leaving only a faint voice on the spot. Moria, they'll leave it to you. With a murderous smile on Gecko Moria's face, he said. Don't worry, Lord Liu Oxing. Certainly, Moria is not alone to face more than a dozen CPO members. He also has Absalom the transparent fruit ability, and several powerful zombies. Dealing with these CP0 members is no problem. The departed Liu Oxing was erratic, sometimes appearing on the left and sometimes on the right. In this bloody and tragic battlefield, he was like an outsider, walking leisurely and calmly. But no one dared to ignore his existence. When Kong, Sengoku, Aokiji, Kizaru and others were fighting, they all took a part of their minds and put them on Liu O crossing, for fear that the legendary and unfathomable five emperors would suddenly attack them. However, Liu Xing kept his hands behind his back and did not shoot. As a scientist, you should leave the fights to your subordinates. Admiral's candidate T. Dolphin, under the attack of the evil king and the big wine barrel, has been retreating steadily, showing signs of failure. He was sweating profusely, gritted his teeth, and when he was struggling to support, he suddenly caught a glimpse of Liu Xing out of the corner of his eyes. Aware of Liu Xing's direction, the T. Dolphin's expression suddenly changed greatly, and he growled uneasy in his heart. No. That man actually went to Momo Sagi. Bastard, what does he want to do? Gwing. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.